What's up, Zilla Nation? It's your boy, Mocha Black Dynamite in the building. It is Wednesday, the 28th of April. It's a beautiful day outside, man. I just pulled up to the park. Um, figure, make another video, man. Touch base with y'all, cause uh, things are about to get beautiful for this for this year, baby. You know what I'm saying? But uh, another night at work, man, on this grind. You know, dealing with the same old fuckery as always, man. But it's always a blessing, man, because you go through all the bullshit to get to get to where you want. You ain't got to deal with it no more, man. It's just amazing. So, you know, it's a nightly struggle, daily struggle with all types of crap. But I keep striving, keep pushing to get where I need to be and not have to worry about it. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man. But uh, I do want to talk to you about a couple of things, man. Uh, one of the reasons I am going to be getting off Facebook, because it's just like I said, the fuckery. But... You know, well, I want to say this, RIP DMX, but I had a female get mad at me because I said rest in peace DMX when he was already brain dead probably for three or four days. So this female uh, said that I was wishing death on the man. <laughs> so I'm like, well, that doesn't make any sense. If you're brain dead, you're already dead. I think personally they were keeping him alive for the family because, you know, he had like 15 kids, but... Never do I wish death upon anybody, especially that I respect. Now, my enemies, that's different. But people like that, you know, what are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? What the hell is that? So, it is what it is, man, you know. But, yeah, I'm sorry. I'll be looking around when I'm at the park. But it is what it is, man. But honestly, that just plays into my point of what I'd be talking about with uh, the social media bullshit and the crap. Like, you know. People don't even talk to that quote unquote friends of mine on cookbook or whatever you want to call it. They want to talk to me about this and that. This makes no sense, man. I just I just find it so funny the energy people have for certain social media platforms, but they don't know nothing else. Like if the only reason I was friends with this chick because she went to one of my she went to one of the high schools I went to. I don't remember the chick, you know what I'm saying? To be honest with you. But Honestly, it's partially my fault. I should have never got back on social media to a degree, but hey, you live and you learn. I'm done with it. That's for damn sure. Never again. Never again will I get back on cookbook. Because I'm honestly, like I said, I'm going to focus on the IG and the YouTube. But it's just a normal, man. Like, ew, ew, man. I just be knowing too much, man. And I just be thinking, like, you know. I just get, I get tired of all the crap, you know, and honestly, I got so much other things I'm focusing on and what I want to do. Facebook's just annoying to me. And honestly, man, I think what pisses me off more is just like everybody puts on a facade with Facebook, number one. Number two, man, you know, oh, did you see what this person posted on cookbook? Oh, oh, honestly, man, my circle or my four or five people I fuck with, I talk to them on a daily basis. So... If it was that important, I would hear about it. Just like if I was to die, hate to say it this way, you want the word gonna get out, Brandon Latimer ain't here no more. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But you know, people are just dumb. I I've just had enough of people and the shenanigans. Like honestly, man, I'm really I'm so ready to go back to my Harry O status and not be bothered with people and the crap. Cause just it's just shit's just dumb, man, and just I can never understand and I never will understand the energy people put on shit that's really not relevant to what needs to what needs to be relevant. You know what I'm saying? Like, you worried about this, this, and this, you need to worry about what's at hand, you know? And it just you could just tell so many people have lost themselves and don't know what the hell's going on. You know, they just going with the flow of what everybody else is doing. I don't operate that way. I do what the fuck I want. You know what I'm saying? So if it works for me and it's good for my morale and what I'm doing, that's what I'm going to do, you know. All this other crap, I ain't doing. Fuck that. That's dumb. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. It's just wild to me. It really is because I don't know. It really is. People just make me laugh, you know. The stupidity is really crazy. It really is. But I don't know. I guess that's just the way of life now. You know what I mean? With things and the way they're going. Oh, the police just passed me. I'm nervous, but nah. But this is our first 80 degree day, which is nice. I'm happy about that. And uh, I just hope the weather keeps going up. You know what I'm saying? But honestly, man, I'm just, 
I have a lot of things on my mind as always. And just to give y'all some of I'm really going to start getting deeper and more in tune with y'all with these vlogs now. Like, I'm always thinking about money, bills, my future, just life, my health. And I feel like I always need to work on those things on a daily basis. And sometimes I'm great at it and sometimes I'm not. But I'm getting better with it, you know. The daily, the little steps you take, you know, you got to crawl before you walk. Those little steps that I take to get where I need to be, I feel like the dagger's tip is aligning to where I needed to be, and I can't wait. So we'll see what happens. But honestly, man, I'm just chilling. Um, I'm tired. You know, I've been, I have been a lot going on, man, you know, especially a new relationship, just doing this, adjusting, you know, when you have, when you have a child involved, it's a lot different. You know what I'm saying? So you got a lot more to worry about, a lot more to deal with. So it's just, um, it's always an adjustment. And just life in general is always an adjustment. You know, doing stuff, doing this, doing that. You always have to do what you need to do. So, you know, constant adjusting, constantly evolving, constantly analyzing. It's almost like the predator. But, you know, to give you a gist of that's what's always on my mind, man. Between car stuff, house stuff, bills, family. And like, I really don't talk to the majority of my family to really, really get y'all in tune. Like, most of the family I don't be bothered with. Like, you know, like, no news is good news to a degree. You know what I'm saying? Like, I probably talk to people that are quote unquote my friends that I consider family that I actually talk to blood. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. Like, it doesn't bother me. You know, I'm okay with it. Because, like, we didn't grow up that way. The family wasn't tight like that. You know what I'm saying? So, it doesn't... I'm all right. Like, people... I think a big misconception people have of me is that I need to be around people. I really don't. Honestly, man, I was probably single for three or four years, if not longer. You know what I mean? I don't mind living by myself. There's certain aspects of my life that my mother and father, blessings to them, they showed me a different light in a lot of aspects of things. You know what I'm saying? That, you know... I don't need to have this, this, and this to be happy. You need to make yourself happy, have your self-worth. So, you know, even though, quote, unquote, some of those things have changed with their outlook because they're older now, but my old parents were a certain way. But let's see what happens, man. But Zilla Nation, man, I just want to sum y'all up real quick. I'm about to go check my lottery tickets. I'm going to head home, do a little workout, take a nice shower, and go to bed. So I will holla at y'all. Zilla Nation, I love y'all to death. Big shout out to Big E. We gonna be collect. We gonna him and I are gonna connect soon. Big shout out to Jay Mills, second mom Lorraine, my lady, my mom, my dad, my brother, uh, my boy Brian, my sister Jerea, my uncle P. He's doing big things. You know, just big shout out to that little circle I got, man. Cause I, like I said, I ain't got that many people, man. So I will stay. I will holler at y'all. Peace.